Now, dear colleagues, we continue, and uh, now I will speak about uh, the work uh, of uh, 100 Days of Illustration Committee. I invite uh, Yehur Sobolev, he's an MP, Chairman of the Anti-Corruption uh, Parliamentary Committee, and Head of the Civil Illustration Committee. Also, Tatyana Kazachenko, she is the Director of the Department on Illustration and the Minister of Justice of Ukraine, and uh, he's a lawyer. She is a co-author on illustration. Uh, Maxim Minkowski, Secretary of the Civil Illustration Council within, within the Ministry of Justice, so you can remember the Civil Illustration Committee, and an organizer of an, uh, an event on uh, illustration. Uh, unfortunately, Karl Wolof is not able to join us, but he will be a representative of Alexander Dreed. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, my name uh, is Alexander Dicham and uh, representative of the uh, Civil Illustration Committee. It's, uh, it's a 100 day of illustration law in Forza. There was an event uh, by the administration of the president, and uh, which we organized. And we demanded from the president to stop sabotage of illustration in Ukraine because uh, the information we have, he doesn't. Uh, sack people, uh, dismiss people whom he was supposed to, to dismiss three months ago. And uh, this is a bad example, bad, bad sign for the rest of the state agencies who still have people who should be released uh, from their positions a long time ago. Here we have different representatives of uh, public bodies and also uh, from NGOs. And uh, we will share the results of these 100 days of illustration and what are the prospects and what are challenges and threats and uh, how we will uh, continue all of this. Uh, good good afternoon. My name is Tatiana Kozachana. I head the Department of Illustration uh, in uh, the Ministry of Justice and a state uh, public servant. I represent the uh, interests of the state as to organizing procedures of uh, checking in our country, of examination in our country. So I would like uh, to thank the Civic Council by the Minister of Justice and also Civic Organization, the Civic Illustration Committee, uh, who by their work help us to run these procedures and also to cover that information and to, education, to educate uh, about the situation in the country. We uh, all should understand that the law illustration, which is uh, not a panacea that can help save the country, but that is a medicine which is uh, needed for the society for the, ch change, uh, for the changes uh, we want to, to take place. Illustration law. Renovation of trusted uh, or credibility to ju the judicial and the corruption laws. Everything which takes place in the country together, which will all together will allow us uh, to change and uh, the country and to, to live in it under different conditions. The illustration law, based on criteria, clear criteria, plus uh, according to certain procedures, and, uh, to say that there will be no illustration in the country, we cannot do it because the law is in force and it is taking place. Some uh, public servants are trying to sabotage or to resist awfully. We have such uh, such facts, but because of the, uh, uh, of uh, people, we can prevent that. But also, we can change the situation, and we can show that the law is in force and. Um, our people demand that illustrated uh, individuals uh, must not have any access to, to the public service. At present, according to uh, 100 days of illustration, uh, its uh, law is in force, and uh, there was a way of illustration. And uh, this was dismissed or left uh, the public office uh, top officials, key figures who were on top positions, so the deputies in the law enforcement bodies and the central staff in the Ministry of Interior, SBU, prosecution, uh, central executive bodies in the ministries, and, uh, and those who were head in or, uh, ter the territorial department, or those people who were the, more than a year within the system of the regime, and with their position and their decisions and uh, or activity or inactivity, they provided uh, uh, it's uh, for expansion in it that uh, it's a loss of the functions provided by the law to provide services and uh, to defend the state. Those people will not be able for 10 years. They will have no access uh, to public institutions. Now it's uh, time to examine the Ministry of Justice and uh, to illustrate 
This uh, this examination will be this review will have uh, will be over this month, and also we review all uh, leaders of uh, law enforcement bodies who, according to the criteria, and uh, who participated in decisions uh, as to arrest the detainment of activists and uh, citizens, violating their rights and freedoms uh, during peaceful protests, and also those uh, who were running running agencies uh, during uh, uh, the Revolution of Dignity and who held key positions. And uh, in a month, uh, the register will be added with uh, those names uh, who made uh, decisions and who re wrote uh, reports and who, uh, who uh, represented a prosecution in the court. And uh, now we examine courts. And uh, judges are uh, checked, uh, examined uh, uh, during the year. We have 8,000 and a half of them. And uh, the, the examination has started. And uh, there is a decree on the website where and also declarations of every statement of every uh, of every judge as to their what their declarations, how they live, and also property they have. So that is an uh, uh, assets illustration. That's why uh, people can participate in these uh, uh, procedures with your assistance. It's possible to speak to uh, certain uh, examination bodies. And also, you can uh, contact uh, the Ministry of Justice and um, how to use uh, criteria, how two public servants who should be under the uh, who could be subject under the uh, illustration. And uh, so those criteria should be used, and they should never have a, an access uh, to uh, the public service. There are problems, but because of you, we can uh, we can overcome them. We have 374 people who at their own uh, who didn't want to leave the public service, and they are on the register. They will never be able to work uh, for the public uh, bodies. And uh, also, we will uh, prosecution. Also, uh, almost every second uh, uh, appealed in the court, of, but only two cases. Uh, one is in Kharkiv, and uh, prosecutor Sukhodubar, and uh, the case in uh, Zaporizhia. Representatives of uh, civil organizations uh, will inform you about that, and I'm uh, very thankful to, uh, to all who who help us and who uh, who help us uh, also to cover that in, in the press. <laughs> A hundred days of sabotage of illustration is the name of the action that we held uh, today by the president's administration, and this does uh, correspond to what is happening with illustration. Uh, very uh, regrettably, the authorities that have to head illustration are really sabotaging this. So the public activists who were holding this action by the president's administration demanded from Mr. Poroshenko, who is a guarantor of the Constitution, that he heads the process of illustration in the country. At the moment, at the Civic Illustration Committee, which I represented this press conference, we have a lot of information information about officials who have avoided the illustration. At the moment, we can uh, only talk about the so-called automated wave of illustration, and we think that these are 33 officials whose list we sent to Mr. President, and uh, among them are officials whom he appoints and can dismiss. In particular, this is Sergei Kuzmenko, head of Kirovograd Regional Administration, and we have more than once asked the President to deal with this issue. For us, there are no surnames, and uh, we only guide ourselves with the law. Many times people have uh, addressed us saying, yes, we are under the action of law and we have, and, but they were helping someone, but there is a law and we can only be guided by law. Mrs. Izatulina, head of the state court administration, another person is the first deputy head of the special communication service, Mikola Frontovsky, who is a regional prosecutor, uh, um, head of the city department of city agency of the Ministry of Interior, the guy who worked under Yanukovych and was reappointed during the new authorities reign. Regrettably, this is not just individual cases. There are people all over the system, and the system is uh, putting up a great resistance. We public activists are addressing all the Ukrainian people. Please help us. We cannot control everything 
by ourselves. This does not depend on me or Mrs. Kozachenko or Yegor Sobolev. Many activists are addressing us, telling us that there's a lot of problems in regions and districts. Please do come to us. We are ready to consult you and we are ready to help you. The second illustration wave has been launched and uh, judging from the list that I have made public, we understand that there will be even more people who will be trying to avoid lustration now. So I appeal to everyone, let's do it together. And I again address the president and the powers that be, please head these processes. Uh, please fulfill the mission that you've been entrusted with by the Ukrainian people in every European country. To the top officials have uh, been in the head of the in the front of the illustration process. This happened in Poland, in Czech Republic, in Georgia, although this was not direct. We expect that the president uh, heads this process and really starts to change the country. I wanted to hark back to the schemes because of which the officials are avoiding illustration. I will name some of them uh the most widespread we were thinking whether to name them because some officials could use this information in order to avoid the illustration but people should know these schemes and help us to get in the know first and very widespread is uh, getting the status of the participant of the anti-terrorist operation without being actually the participant in the anti-terrorist operation we know that there's a lot of people who did not participate in the anti-terrorist operation but did get this status and this relieves them from lustration because the status of the combatant is now actually the only immunity means that helps to avoid uh, illustration. Maybe you all know about Metro Isayenko, who was the who is the Deputy Minister of uh, Regional Development and who got this status is illegally, so he was made to voluntarily relinquish this status and now a criminal case was launched against him. Mikola Fontovsky, prosecutor of Odessa region, who's got the status of the anti-terrorist operation participant, we have uh, launched a special investigation and we found out the whole plot as a result of which we have an illustrated prosecutor who illegally got the status of the ATO participant in uh, last summer the prosecutor general started proceedings against him but he has appealed against this in court and then while there was uh, documents were going to and fro he did get the status and now he says he cannot be illustrated another scheme is appealing in court against illustration decisions every second official starts to get reappointed to their positions because uh, through courts but this court uh, the law is not selective it does provide grounds to illustrate people through this we can find those whom we re, whom we call not illustrated because they were the subjects of uh, automated illustration there are 174 cases in like this in courts now two officials were reinstalled in their positions but they are in the court of appeal and the appeal court in kharkiv Although the judge who reinstalled him did not go to the hearing and, the, and Mr. Sukhodubov himself uh, did not appear in the court hearing uh, is just the proof that they know that they are not right. We also know the scheme by which the officials go a level or two below 
because as you know the checkup is going in several stages and the first wave of illustration pertains to top officials but their apparatus other officials of these bodies and reg regional offices will be examined later in particular starting from March so they uh, go to lower positions in order to protract with illustration we don't have the full list now but we know that the some officials are using this then we know some interesting schemes that can be repeated first the ban to illustrate a person who is at the moment involved in another court hearing interesting that after the flare-up of uh, about Sukhodubov case the judge has cancelled her decision by which she banned to dismiss a uh, official who is at the moment being is being checked for illustration while this person is uh, a subject of another court hearing so far we cannot prove that this was done on process but same we cannot similarly we cannot say that this was not done on purpose i want to emphasize that you will get all the materials about what we are talking about and they are in the media center and uh, we also have them we will disseminate them and why this is important to involve the public we want everybody to understand that illustration is the only means to save the country at the moment and if everybody does not join in the process then illustration does not happen and we can lose the country so we have developed some information graphics that will help everybody to understand how illustration processes are taking place in Ukraine and will answer your main questions like where to send the, your application or appeal, how, the, how you can check your official, whether they are corresponding to the illustration demands you see the examples on the screen i ask the journalists to help us to disseminate these materials as much as possible because at the moment we have 4000 applications and uh, statements and because of these we found find those people who were not illustrated and now i give the floor to Igor Sobolev MP maybe you will ask questions right away thank you very much questions you see there is no question no there are some information agency Ostrov I uh, how many people were subject to illustration at present until today? Give us numbers. I want you to understand that illustration, the goal is uh, to clean the authorities and not names and where they are on the register. When many people sign applications and uh, they're left uh, at their own wish, we don't need to do to check them. They are not in the public institutions anymore. They will not be able to return because when they come back, they will have to go through the examination and those criteria will be found when they worked, uh, which positions they held. And that's why the illustration covered uh, much more people, many more people. We have 374 on the register. Those who were not, uh, the, did not resign by themselves. And the law means not uh, dismissal of a uh, person but a prohibition to, uh, to have access to public service so that's, a, uh, that's why if someone is working in the public service and in the public service and cannot be that person should be dismissed as well the is it's about an access to the public service not about dismissal in the register we have 374 people who were illustrated according, along, according to the uh, first uh, wave and then we will have one more wave and there will be new uh, names who who have not resigned by themselves yet. TVI, 
general. Now there is a mountain of uh, complaints uh, that comes uh, to the constitutional court and uh, administrative uh, courts uh, sent uh, those uh, complaints uh, to uh, the Supreme Court and the, uh, the Constitutional Court and uh, they say that uh, they we violate uh, the labor law. Is it the violation and abuse? If the Constitutional uh, Court recognizes, uh, says that uh, those are not uh, constitutional norms and they will be returned to their positions, the, the state will have to, uh, to pay uh, compensa compensation to reimburse. Intelligence Service sent us uh, the first uh, candidates and how they received uh, documents, how, how many agents we have, and uh, Russian uh, Special Service. It's clear who sent the first uh, complaint. No question with this. The second uh, complaint was uh, came from uh, judges. That system uh, which uh, should be a quintessence uh, to, to defend uh, rights and freedoms, and we, d we know that we don't have justice, we have uh, practicing of, uh, of court. And the judges uh, sent uh, the complaints that concerned uh, about themselves, not as to others, uh, other uh, public servants. Other public servants or oh, lawfulness of law in that part doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, bother them. And the third one, that is an uh, opposition block. 47 uh, deputies who voted uh, for dictator's law uh, now they say that this law is not constitutional. Of course, they do that. They resist because they oppose, because they would like to stay in power. For me, it's not an oppositional block. It's the same, the same people who usurped power, who dest destroy our country. And uh, there should be criminal investigations. Uh, there should be a subject of criminal uh, investigation. The Constitutional Court can, can consider that, will not interfere. So I described the nature of uh, complaints as to the uh, abuse and uh, the right for labor is not, it is not abused. You're welcome, work, but a public office is not a private property. If the, the state hires you, so the state does not uh, guarantee a constitutional right for every person that they will uh, they will hold uh, that position in the public service. So there should be a certain access. Uh, this access is the door is uh, closed to them, and the people want it and that, and it was brought in the parliament. It was signed by the president. I would like to add, we analyzed uh, complaints, uh, complaints uh, from the constitutional uh, motions uh, from uh, the oppositional bloc. People who was Spitting on the Constitution, now they use uh, such uh, such uh, terms in Venice Commission, human rights, etc. So, for example, the paragraph A about uh, cleaning of uh, power, uh, Article uh, 3, uh, paragraph 8. It says, if there is a, uh, not true information provided into the uh, assets uh, uh, declaration, they say. It's not uh, unconstitutional because when, uh, when they were hired, they didn't know that if they gave wrong information, they can be dismissed because the, the law was uh, passed only on October 16th. So there are a lot of many awful things. When we read them, we understand that only one thing, only one goal of all these things, they would like to escape lustration because uh, we, those people complain who were at the base of that system, who are still here who are in Ukraine, we would like to clean them out of uh, public offices, of the public office. You have a question to you, Ligon Forum. Are you planning some amendments uh, to uh, how to provide uh, ATO status and uh, how does it allow uh, public servants uh, to uh, escape frustration and how to provide, how to simplify uh, 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 the procedure to get uh, the status of ATO for those who are really there. Are you planning there? Is the corruption? How do you prevent that? I believe that uh, it's very important to understand that now uh, the, pro it's the problem is not that we don't have very good illustration laws. No, the main problem is that leaders of the country, they don't want to clean the authorities, the public offices. It doesn't matter how many laws we, uh, we write, and it will not help. It will not force our has top officials to comply with that and to kick out people who who should be kept away uh, f far away i spoke to, to the to alexander turchino who is the head of uh, the security and defense council he says that there are several generals who are military men who can help 
in this war for independence, but they uh, became a subject of the law on, uh, on uh, lustration. I told him, if you need the decision, bring them back. If you if you need a uh, decision of the parliament, do it. And uh, military men can be approved through the, uh, the, the parliament and they will not be a subject of lustration if they really can defend our country, if they really are important in this war for independence. I would like to do attention to something else. Why General General Vorobyov, everybody says that he, need, he is needed by the country. Well, they dismissed him quickly. But the head of the police of Kiev, who who is a subject of the same article, uh, is still working. A pr prosecutor of Donetsk, who is also under that article, on the, he's still working. So the problem is not in legislation. The problem is in application. People who run the country, they don't want to clean the public office. If to speak about the status of ATO battles, the same story. I suggested to put that paragraph in the, in the law that participants of ATO cannot be a subject of lustration. The laws that are developed by Alpha Omega and Yahuar, who were something awful for us during Maidan, they were the first to fight against around Slavyansk. The one that got into the battle, we, there was a decision. We should not touch these people because they brought everything. They are with us. They are like us. They are citizens of the United Country, and the state needs them. The country needs them. So that's why we we, we put that. Uh, we wrote that. Uh, but one uh, deputy minister of construction with big belly says that he's a participant. When the prosecutor gets of Donetsk says gets that law. Uh, the status, um, how can you regulate it? Uh, when we saw Mr. Steyenk, when he came to the parliament, uh, we saw, we met him. I uh, took some people who were fighting, and I told, this is your, your brother of the battle. Let's ask him in which uh, in which regiment he he served. As soon as we asked him, from where do you have the uh, the status of ATO participant, uh, don't, don't you think it's not honest uh, comp as to those people who died without the status, he told us that he, give, he gives up. You cannot re regulate that with the people don't have conscious, conscience. Uh, that can be uh, corrected only with one thing, with the, the will of, of their leaders uh, to dismiss them. If the general prosecutor wanted uh, to dismiss uh, the prosecutor of uh, Donetsk, he would uh, do it easy. Using the first uh, article, if the president uh, uh, wanted uh, this uh, law to be complied with, he would uh, dismiss uh, the governor of, uh, of uh, Kirovograd. But that doesn't happen. And you cannot correct that with the law. What are we planning to do? As much transparency as possible in this process next week, we'll have one more meeting with the head of, uh, of an interagency group that, uh, that provides the status of ATO participant. And uh, we'll try to catch, I will hunt for a so like, like him, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, demand their resignation, their dismissal. As to Isayanko, we, we, saw, we spoke uh, to uh, Mr. Derevianko on this. The statement he wrote and uh, he showed in the parliament, he, uh, they did not receive him. So he's still a, a brother of, of uh, those who are fighting there, and he's still a participant of ATO. It's very important. I have one more question about this. I need a, a, a clarification. There's a question from ISTB. A status of ATO participant. You told her that there would be a meeting. Can you? Can there be a committee or a group of activists uh, that would audit those people who receive that status? Can it be checked? Can it be done? Can that be verified among those who already have that status? One very good thing. No, not all know about that. Uh, the best journals of Ukraine, and they join, joined uh, the Civic, uh, Civic uh, Committee on uh, Illustration, and uh, the, they get a lot of that information, and they uh, verify it, and with the help of the Department of the Ministry of Justice. You have to understand one thing. We knew about that from the very beginning. Uh, Parash uh, President Poroshenko would not uh, uh, comply with, uh, with this law, and uh, General Public Security <coughs> Ramo would not comply with it. <coughs> They are the first who sabotage this law, but the society can can force them to comply with this law. The the society can catch um, 
those who violate the law and uh, sent uh, like a sent to uh, the the landfill of uh, history. Citizens must uh, must. We citizens, we must do that, and we can force our leaders of the state. We are citizens, we as people. We understand that without frustration, we will not win the war for independence, and they will not build uh, the country for the sake of which people died and die. How do you assess the chances for frustration in the general prosecutor's office? Uh, in particular because its uh, head uh, does criticize the illustration law. And uh, is there a possibility that Yerema will be illustrated himself? You know, I initiated the dismissal of uh, Prosecutor General, and uh, we can say now that we will get the necessary number of signatures from MPs, and we will consider this issue at the Parliament. I ask all the people to talk to their representatives at the Petro Poroshenko block and uh, the People's Front Party. It is uh, on you that the issue whether we will dismiss the Prosecutor General will depend. And the activity that the Prosecutor General Office has launched under the illustration threat is a proof of this sabotage. They could be doing this even last year. And uh, the fact that they started to do this only under the threat of the dismissal of Prosecutor General is another proof of the fact that they, uh, the, the prosecutor channel should be dismissed because as soon as the threat is removed for dismissal, then he will uh, come back to the sabotage. I'm sure that we need the new prosecutor general and uh, his office is one of the most rotten bodies that should be cleaned and cleaned and cleaned in this country. And the last thing I wanted to remark on, even despite the great level of sabotage, the law is acting even within the 374 people who were officially illustrated, officially illustrated, half of them are prosecutors heads of prosecutors' offices who have done a lot of evil to this country. So the law is active, but our task is to make it totally acting. You know, I like very much how you came and this was shown on TV and made this man confess that he was not the participant in the anti-terrorist operation. But I think that he should be responsible by law and see, get, be incarcerated for several years. And I think there should be a law against this. Besides, we have a lot of those who should be illustrated, and they should not be just removed from power, but they should also bear responsibility. So I suggest that we adopt a law with, for imprisonment from one year to, to eternity, and they could only pay ransom for themselves, like five $5,000 for every year of imprisonment that threatens them. Listen, Ukraine does not have uh, bad laws, but the implementation of those laws is bad. So for us, the task is to make the officials to start to perform, to fulfill our laws. We have just talked to the presidential administration representatives and the wonderful Georgian prosecutors of the time of Saakashvili, and we have developed the law that would allow to confiscate the property of uh, officials who cannot explain where they got for it from, including their relatives. And uh, 
so far we only insist on their dismissal, but the new law will also demand the confiscation of those uh, of this property. For instance, if Prosecutor Bachun has declared gifts amounting to millions of hryvnia over last year, then it should be confiscated. If we're talking about the introduction of changes into illustration legislation, we have five key ideas. We're talking about them with the Venetian Commission because we promised them that we do this jointly so that Europe understands why we're doing this illustration. Our first idea is to provide the right for the president to exempt uh, military who are important for the war of independence to make them exempt from the law uh, after the voting of the parliament. Second, we want to spread the law on lustration on the president and MPs, not just policemen or prosecutors, not just judges or officials, but everyone in the top leadership of the country, including those who are elected. This is normal, this is just, and the law has to be single for everybody. Third idea, we want to introduce a very hard criminal responsibility for the violation of the law so that we do not go with rallies to some official bodies, but to the new prosecutor general so that he starts, launches cases against this. Fourth idea, we want to formulate in a constitutional European way, but very strictly, the law about lustration uh, of judges, because these they are major saboteurs of the law and purification of power. It is not in vain that the plenary meeting of the High Court has initiated the address to the Constitutional Court. They really uh, criticized me because I said that judges should be thrown out of uh, the window. But this is, in uh, fact, to save them. The so-called rubbish illustration of the waste bin illustration of last autumn won't repeat. There will be blood illustration. And the judges are either going to go through illustration process in a legal way or they will be killed. This is what I'm trying to tell them. And the judges should be the first persons interested in uh, the illustration law because otherwise lynch law and kangaroo courts will act. So I ask them to take this into account. A lot of clear questions about uh, judges, how many of them are uh, society, because uh, the society demands the results and uh, a cleaning of uh, the uh, uh, this uh, public office. And how many of them are society? No one, because, because the fight, the, everything is, uh, is in the Constitution to dismiss uh, judges. Judges, we need uh, to change uh, the Constitution. Only the body can do that uh, which elected, uh, that's the Parliament of Ukraine. The, for the Parliament to dismiss a judge, the High uh, uh, Council of J uh, Justice, so they should send an application, but uh, the request, but it is not uh, created. Uh, that's why the, the, there is an examination of judges. All the ministry of uh, our ministry will collect all the materials, and there is a basis uh, to use uh, illustration procedures. Uh, we will, we will send uh, the request uh, to the higher council of justice uh, to dismiss them, according to the changes. Amendments uh, uh, will be done. Those judges will be under the illustration who refuse to go through uh, the illustration procedures. So now we have eight of such judges, and uh, the, the judge of uh, the judge Kolesnichenko who wanted uh, to run it. Uh, he was ex head of uh, Pechersky, uh, Pechersky Court and who belonged uh, to the High Council of Justice. So this was a very interesting uh, situation. There are very interesting names, and there no one, no no position, no no person will be will fight only for their own rights. Everybody is uh, equal uh, against the law. If they will be illustrated and we'll do everything possible for that. Igor colleagues, uh, thank you very much. Uh, come inform us about the process. Our next um, briefing of uh, Colonel Lysenko will be in five minutes. Thank you very much.